Number nine, the NASA Vehicle Assembly Building is so massive it has its own weather system. The VAB, as it's known, is the largest single-story building in the world, and it has to be large because that's where NASA officials assemble all the space vehicle components, stuff like external fuel tanks and rocket boosters, pre-manufactured rocket components. The building was also built to withstand hurricanes and tropical storms, but on very humid days, yeah. rain clouds form below the ceiling while nearby areas are clear. Uh huh? That's fascinating. That's There's fun. something going wow. on there. Yeah. All right, number eight, 81 year old U.S. Senator Patrick Leahy of Vermont has announced that he will not be running for a re election, so it's a good time to remember that Leahy is a huge Batman guy. And he's even acted in five Batman movies. Is that him there? With, yeah, that's him with Heath Ledger in The Dark Knight. Here's him in one of the older movies. He has loved Batman comics ever since he got his first library card at age four. Right. And in the 90s, he was pushing legislation to ban the export of landmines. So he worked with DC Comics on a Batman about the dangers of landmines. Huh. The comic was then distributed to his fellow uh, senators and they agreed landmines are bad. <laughs> the bill passed 100 to nothing. Could you imagine wow. any bill passing 100 to nothing? Uh, wow. As for the movies, all royalties from Leahy's roles are donated to the Kellogg Hubbard Library in Vermont where he first read Batman comics huh. 75 wow, years ago. Wow, that's a nice ago. story. Mm -hmm. All right, number seven, if you think making a plane reservation is complicated now, take a look at 1945. People booked all their flights through a travel agent. Airlines kept track on giant boards or log books, and once your flight was booked, you'd have a paper ticket. And this is how they did it. No computers, no internet. They used phones that had you actually dial, and you got the paper ticket. Mm -hmm. They actually answered the oh, phone. Yeah. Back yeah. Then yeah. Also, yeah. Oh, brother. All right, number six. My man Harry Styles finally took my <laughs> advice, and he started a beauty line called Pleasing, oh, uh, thank which God. I also suggested to him over drinks at St. Bart's. <laughs> right now, uh, the line has a set of four nail polishes and two skincare products. And get this, the nail polishes come off with a set of alphabetic decals that allow you to write messages on your fingers. Harry says he came up with the idea for the colors of the polish in the simplest ways by seeing a flower, uh, some cool wallpaper, you name it, he came up with ways. So hmm. there you are. Hmm. He's a dreamer. Yep. Number five, thanks to writer and blogger Parker Malloy for this tip. Who knew that one of the great Twitter accounts out there is from the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission. They send out information about recalls, safety alerts, and data, and they find fun ways to do it, like this post. Amateur hour is over this Thanksgiving. This is the big one. Aunt Margie flew in from Boca with her bad knee to eat this meal. The kids drove 15 hours from Nashville for this stuffing. We don't have time for lumpy gravy and light seasoning. This is Grandmama's kitchen for the next 12 hours. No amateurs, no unattended cooking. Mm. Yeah. Wow. All right. Larry, I just want to commend you on that read. That was. Yeah, I had no idea what I was reading. People at home could have seen how many typos was in that. This guy, <laughs> yeah. like a locomotive, yeah. just you. kept he going. Yeah. This is why you're number one. Yeah, Don't let Larry, anybody ever tell you otherwise. Best. Congratulations. Number four, you ever wonder why we say love in tennis? I do wonder that. Well, here you go, Robin. Get ready to receive some knowledge. The origin or love as a score is due to the figure zero and its resemblance to an egg. It's also common to refer to a zero score as a duck or a goose egg. Right. The French word for egg is le ouf. Oh. The pronunciation uh -huh. isn't too far from the English word love. That seems like That's a stretch. That's a stretch indeed, yeah. isn't it? Mm -hmm. well, All I right. Believe, I, don't know if I believe that. I'm not going to believe it. No. All right, number three, this might be the saddest Sanrio character ever. That's the company that designs and licenses Hello Kitty, by the oh, way, okay. and the cute oh, things in Japanese culture, if you didn't know. This guy is called... Yeah. Yudatema. Oh, that's right. It's a lazy egg. 
without much spunk. It's, it's it's, maybe it's a yolk or just huh. a raw egg with no neck, no body, no limbs. It just kind of sits around, but it's a character mm. that you can get, you know. Look at mm. Wow. Bless his heart. We're really doing the deep dive of letting people in on stuff well, they might yeah, not know really about today. today. There's a lot of details um, that people forget yeah. about that are... Not every Sanrio yeah. character can be a winner. Yeah. You're going to have a couple of clunkers in there. <laughs> right? that's, that's what makes you yeah. appreciate the great ones. Yeah. You think the viewers of Channel 7 or 2 or Fox, they're getting this kind of information? Not a no. chance. No. They're walking around clueless. All right, number two. I have a quick question to toss out here. Can guys wear jumpsuits in everyday life? Like jumpsuits have entered mainstream fashion for women, and they look great, but I can only imagine how comfortable and convenient it would be if guys could wear these things to work. And I'm not talking about like a mechanic suit or something. Mm -hmm. I'm saying a guy should be able to wear one of these jumpsuits anytime. Like, look at that. Yeah, it does look fun. It's adorable, right? Cuddly. It's got a whole romper look to yeah, it, too, you know? Innocent, kind of, but still manly. Yeah. How about it? Where yeah. you fall on jumpers, Robin? You, know, you do, do a lot of jumping. That'd be fun for you to wear one yeah. of those. The jumpsuit is a hard thing for. I'm not talking about the gentleman. You do whatever makes you feel okay. good. Yes. But I'm just saying it's a hard look to pull off because it cinches you at the waist. Uh -huh. Sometimes not flattering. Sometimes you want something to blouse over. So you yeah. really have to be feeling good about your frame. Yeah. Mm. You know, it's not easy. And then don't even get me started when you're going. You're here at WGN and you have to go to the restroom in the middle of the oh, show. Oh yeah, you got that's a, a That's a tough unzip, unzip yeah. and you got yeah. wires and you stuff. Any, you can't do it. And you don't it. want any of that touching the bathroom floor. No. here, I can yeah. tell you that much. No, it's been yeah. compromised. So. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I don't usually do Listen, that. there's been a lot of compromise in this place for a long time. <laughs> Just one more step. Yeah. Number one, in 1979, there was a game show called Three's a Crowd that lasted less than five months. It's called Three's a Crowd. The tagline is, who knows a man better, his wife or his oh, secretary? No. <laughs> it was like the newlywed game, but much sadder. Oh, no. Check it out. Welcome back to Three's a Crowd. Wives, here is your final question. Ladies, I want to know the strangest or most unusual thing that you personally ever did at home that became the talk of your husband's office the next day. Oh, I got very, very upset and took an electric carving knife and cut up the carpeting and then took it out in trash bags so the landlord wouldn't know. Oh, boy. <laughs> Guy told us that the most unusual thing you did at home was what, Guy? You got... A little tipsy and uh, disrobed. Oh. Joy told us the most unusual thing was the one time you made edible spaghetti. <laughs> uh. <coughs> oh. oh my gosh! Wow. Wow. Oh, that's a baby show. This is great. <laughs> I watch this. <laughs> It's like Maury Povich before Maury I'm just Povich. Yeah. 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 That seems <laughs> that's the only that game back. show I would watch. Yeah. And I love how we're assuming the ladies are the secretaries <laughs> yeah. because they're always just typing and um. doing shorthand. <laughs> that was a show with no winners <laughs> at all. <laughs> no, <it's laughs> except for the viewers. Except for, except for us. The viewers, right, and they canceled it. <laughs> Typical. Well, that's the night of nine. Oh. It's just the night at night.